Hello guys, welcome to a new session of Roast Tutorial. In the last session we saw setting up workspace, creating package and now in this section we will see publishing and subscribing. Okay, so in ROS you separate your codings into modules or different components. So each program or in ROS is a node. So each node will do a specific task. In this example, we have three different nodes here. You can see node 1, node 2 and node 3. The first node will read the odometer of the robot's wheel and tells you where the robot is related to where it is started from. The second node is the path planner uh, that tells you how to move from point A to point B. And third is motor controller. It provides some velocity commands and tells the motors on the robot to move in a certain way to achieve that velocity. Each node will communicate with each other through topics. You can see here topic 1 and topic 2 and so topic is a named channel uh, through which nodes can send data to each other nodes. Here the first topic is called ODOM you can see here uh, that is for odometer and second is CMD underscore VEL that is for uh, gamma and velocity and the actual data that is passed through these topics are called messages. Uh, so here the odometer is telling the robot is at XYZ position and the path planner is telling the robot needs to go forward by 0.2 and uh, do not turn. Okay guys, these are some characteristics of publishing and subscribing. A node can publish a message to any topic like that. A node can subscribe to any topic and multiple nodes can publish to the same topic like that. Multiple nodes can subscribe to the same topic and a node can publish to multiple topics without any limit uh, like that. A node can subscribe to multiple topics without any limits. Okay guys, and these are some command line tools for examining the structure of your nodes and topics. And a ROS node list provides a list of all the nodes that are currently running. And if you need the detailed information about the node, you can use this uh, ROS node info slash. And this is the node name. You want to give your node name. So, and it provides the details about what topics it is currently publishing and it's subscribed to. And this uh, ROS topic list will give you a list of all the topics that are published or subscribed to. And ROS topic info slash topic name will get uh, get all the nodes that are publishing to uh, that topic or the nodes that are subscribed to that topic. Okay, guys, uh, ROS topic echo slash topic name, and this will this will print out the data that's being published on that topic. And uh, finally, ROS topic pub publish for publish. And here we want to give our topic name, message type and finally we want to give a message that I had missed while preparing the presentation. And it will send a message to that topic. Also please note that all the topics and messages are of a particular type like string or integers. So if a topic is string data, you can't publish a number to that topic. Okay, now we can move to messages. And a message is basically a format that allows code written in C++ and Python to talk to each other. It's a common format that sends over these topics so that nodes can communicate. You create your message in a .msg file using a special format. And when you compile your code, it actually compiles this message file into a C++ and Python classes that you can work with. And it basically handles all the serialization and deserialization of data for you. Okay guys, now we can move to ROS master. What is ROS master? A ROS master is a server that keeps track of all the nodes that is which node is publishing to which topic and which node is subscribed to which topic and so on. You need to have a ROS master in order for the world ROS system to work. We have seen it in the last section while running a C++ node. Okay, and please note that the master is not actually handling any of the data that is being published itself. The master is just keeping track of meta information like which node is out there and who is publishing and what is their IP address are. And how does it work means a publisher will come up and tell the master hey I am publishing on this topic and also this is my address and the master will keep a note on that. Also if some notes come and uh, say hey I want to subscribe to this topic then the master will say yeah I know someone who is publishing on that topic and it will inform the subscriber about the publisher and the subscriber will then set up a peer to peer connection with the publisher. So from then on the publisher will send the data directly to all the subscribers on that topic. 
and the master will be running on a known IP address. So your publisher and subscriber know uh, just where to contact it because it is hard code on the system. And this is what the ROS master URL is. And if you are running ROS on a single system, then it's typically localhost colon 11311. It is the default port number for the ROS master. And for other nodes, the port number will be random. You can start the ROS master by running ROS core or ROS launch. So I hope you enjoyed this section guys. If so, please like this video and consider subscribing my channel. And if you have any doubts regarding this section, feel free to contact me. Thank you.